Good morning, everyone. I'm Dimok, and we got a wedding crasher. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We just infiltrated Ruid's shipyard, and then we fought him, and we kicked his ass. It was a fun fight, and his dog's not here, because I killed him, but I thought... I think he despawned. But now we're off to the wedding in Elmenham, so we'll meet back up when we get there. Wedding preparations in full bloom. Yeah. Look at all the flowers on the ground. Let's get to the wedding. Oh, there's our quest marker. Beautiful and worthy celebration. Hey, Oswald. Thank Oops. you. May this feat just like you to keep a king waiting at his own wedding. <laughs> Yet I arrived in the end. A part of me worried you wouldn't. I, I gave you my I word. See you crowned. And now here we are. What's that lady doing behind me? Without you, I'd be dead. Another wasted hope for East Anglia. What do you want, lady? You look good, Oswald. Like a man about to marry a more powerful woman. Do I? Because I'm nervous as hell. Of all the battles a man can fight, the war against himself is the hardest to win. Yeah, that's true. Let's get to the wedding. You didn't have anything to say? Alright. Look at the piggies laying down. And one walking. Stuff in your beard. It's a lot of red. And Avor just standing in the shadows as usual. I wonder how long. A white dress as tradition has been going on for. If anyone knows that, let me know in the comments. Blood on the brow. Don't get it in your hair. Oh, it's in your hair. I hereby name you man and wife. And as man and wife, I name you... The crown. Oswald king of East Anglia. Of Elmenham, first of his name, the rightful king of East Anglia. With his lady Valdis, soul, fist, and beauty of this land. Now what? That was a nice little ceremony. Short and sweet. Hey, Fenrir. You've done it, Stuart. A king now sits on the throne of East Anglia. Don't leave yourself out of this song. We did it together. Back to your dreams, then, of fire and Helheim. I lost my way some time ago. Hard to say when. I don't want to be here. I never did. This was half Dan's dream. He ordered me to see it through. In my dreams, I'm sailing, remember? Wind in my beard, salt on my lips. 
I want that life again. Whether or not I find it, only time will tell. Until then, let us feast, drink, and forget our pain! All right. Ooh, festivities. All right. Do this one. Yeah, let's do it. Eivor! What are we doing? Wolf kissed. Gaze upon my parts. They stand so strong. Unbreakable at this distance, no? They are not, Brothier. My arrow's shadow would have attacked if they strike. Even after draining so much meat, succeed and you shall be rewarded. All right. Keep your eyes open long enough to witness me, you drunken lout. Challenge begins. Let me do it. Yes, that's it. Easy. As with everything, an easy task for the wolf kissed. <laughs> Barely a challenge. Impressive. Impressive. Here as promised. Now go enjoy the party. All right. Let's do it. We got 50 silver there. Whoa. Camera's going crazy. Oh, what's this? Oh, this one over here. All right. What do you got for me? Skull, Ivor. Let's have a drink. All right. Let's have a Your drink. Fist is without ale. Let us address that. Surely a special kind of metal is required for drinking before the new king. A metal not unlike your own. To Odin and his endless glories. And the new king of East Anglia. May his reign be long and good. You're not drinking anything. It's that fake alcohol. Not bad, Wolf Kiss. You can call it goose alcohol. I wager alcohol. you couldn't drink more than me if you tried. <laughs> A fool's wager. A challenge nonetheless. What say you? I will drink you under the table. <laughs> How's this game gonna play you? out? Let us see how you fare against the ale beast of East Anglia. And we'll make it interesting. Put your silver where your mouth is. What say you? I. Let's do it. I accept. Yes, it's a All right. Score. Oh. Oh, shoot. Come on. Come on. Come on. There's that one. We can do it. Oh, shoot. Come on. Ah, lost. Strong brother. I am stronger. Better luck I messed up right at the beginning. I messed up too many times. Now, you owe me some silver. Fine, take it. It looked like I was. Oh my god. It looked like you were able to drink Look more here. the closer you got to that X. The road to Valhalla does not run down. Oh, I didn't have to hit anything. The boar represents fertility. Did you know that? As does Freya. What's your point? You impress me, Eivor. Your battle wisdom, your strength of character, skilled in so many ways. Yet I wonder, 
Is there any skill of mine that I could impress upon you? Even a fool has something to teach, whether they're aware of the lesson or not. Hey, hey. But I could show you how to wield my plow sword. Complain <laughs> about this, Stiff Spear. You want to lay with me, is that it? That I do. Will you follow me? To a place more comfortable? No, I've been. I've already been fighting hard and working hard. A good plow go sword ahead, do is it. A rare thing. Lead the way. Ha ha ha! Avor's gonna get some. Get it, Avor. or two in some skull song. <laughs> I'll remember that for all time, Eivor. Uh, which one was it? <laughs> too, brother. The sagas are never this good. Oh, it is that guy. <laughs> I can't remember who it was. <laughs> oh, time to get that guy. What's he doing all the way up there? While the Saxon gets his milk. They'll trade with each other hey, when the time hey, comes to make it into a good soup for everyone. Go that way. Wine? You like sweet cheese. swine? I hate it, actually. <laughs> Get Don't up! Like that, you. you can have my bowl. I'm you coming. In such a strange way. <laughs> Again. <laughs> the Saxon God wanders somewhere up here, does he not? I haven't seen him. They like to say he moves with mystery. Look! The moon! It moves on trouble now. But one day it will be eaten by a giant wolf, and the nights will be black forevermore. What? Are you all right? What are you talking about? I've tasted glory once again, and it was good. I'm glad to hear it. Now. I always felt like Skull, hunting, chasing, and trying to fulfill Halfdan's wishes. But now I've caught my sun and moon. I've got them, and. I... I don't know. You can let them go. Sail to a further shore. My longship's in Valhalla. Don't you remember? Fire starter. <gasps> oh. Look, like you didn't fall off on, this little perch. Let's get you to solid ground. Everything's spinny. <laughs> you had too much to drink. Way. Uh, what do I do? You're very strong. And drop him. Oh, you're very large. <laughs> oh, just drop him. <laughs> Sorry for this, Eivor. I've had one last glory. I should be happy. I am happy. Thank you. It need not be the last. Not the last. <laughs> your eyes are open, dude. Sleeping with your eyes open. Passed out in the Enough on the dirt. Games. I should see how Oswald is doing. Alright. Hey, hey Oswald. Well, I'm about to address our guests, and I'd like you to be there. Alright. It has been a worthy ceremony so far. And have you had enough fun yet? Yeah, I'm ready for the address. Ready to hear you address your kingdom. Good. Come, come. Join me. Friends, honored guests. We've pushed through hard times. It seems like all we've known is loss and suffering. But it is not conflict that binds us. It is compassion. May we always favor compassion, even when our enemies refuse its boon. So, to my Dane friends and neighbors, I give thanks for the bravery you have shown during our collective struggles. And for my fellow Christians, may we continue standing as examples of our Lord's grace. Lights in the dark. I see East Anglia's future right here, 
right now, in all of you, Dane and Saxon alike, to our future. Still a bit soft on insults, but the king has courage. And to Eivor, without whom none of this would have been possible. Oh, we get to speak too? On behalf of East Anglia, let this ring be proof oh, maybe of our loyalty to the Raven Clan and all they have done for us today. Would you have any words of wisdom for us? Oh, maybe we do get talk. Yeah. Oswald, you would not have been my first choice as king, nor my second. I thought you weak, bendable, without resolve. But not all men are as they first appear. I came to see that Oswald's heart is amongst the largest I have ever known. He is sturdy, he has wisdom, he has courage. All qualities of a man worthy to be king. He is the king East Anglia deserves and the king you need. To the good king, Oswald! To Oswald! Skull! 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 <laughs> okay, everyone, the bridal race starts now. Remember, you all have to lose to the bride and groom. <laughs> what? Steady all and ready yourself for the wedding race. The king and his bride against all. My king. He... <laughs> oh, you're still alive. The sheep you left to guard me have oh, been that's shorn. Right. Oswald, Spared your life. King of sheep fuckers, show your eyes. Can't see him just sitting there. I challenge you. I accept. I think he can do it. No square, only sweat and blood. He may be wounded, but do not let your guard down. Let's settle this. Get it, Oswald. I will you, Saxon. I'll take all that is yours. There you go. Where did you learn to fight like that? Should a king show mercy to one so malevolent, so cruel, I'll not give you the satisfaction of a good death, for my god forbids such cruelty. Therefore, you are outcast. From this moment on, you have won. My life is yours. Your life is God's. What do you do to him? Nothing? Now go! Leave my kingdom and never return. I do not understand this Saxon religion. Oswald is a coin. One side mercy, the other courage. There are few like him, I'll admit. Saxon or Dane. Such a strange display. Courage and restraint like I've never seen. With all that's happened, with all the chaos ruined ruled, still, Oswald found reason to spare him. It is a strange thing. A remarkable thing. From what inner spring does such kindness run? I'd like to know. With my duty here fulfilled, I now choose East Anglia. I fight for you, my king. Prize, old friend. You're embarrassing me. Be well, Finir. Your choice is a bold one. You continue to surprise Oswald of Elmenhong. Thank you, Eivor. When we first met, I made an oath. I promised you an alliance. You did. You'll have it. So long as I draw breath. Till next time, King. Nice. All right, so I suppose time to go back and see Ranvi. Get the next set of quests. I have four skill points. Now it seems the wind. 
calls me back to Randy. Best tell her the good news. That's right. That is a long ways away. All right, we're gonna head back there, and I'll see you all when we when we get there. All right, we're back in Ravensthorpe. Oh, I talked to you. Ah, poppers. Can I pet you? No, can't pet you. No, oh, cute puppy. Hello, Avor. Hi. All right. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into this time. I can't remember. I think there was one or two places left. And I will make you eat that wretched habit. Go on, Holger. Why all this shout? Yeah, why are you shouting? What's going on? What's going Eivor, on? Thank Tyr. I heard shouting. Is something wrong? Holger robbed me, and I demand he be punished. Ha! Rob disappointed word? Does the deer rub the stream when she takes a drink? Does a cow rub a field when he crops on sweet grass? Eivor, this matter requires sensitive judgment. Will you? Sure. Of course. From the beginning, please. Well now, there is no excuse too small, I see. Nothing to keep you from coveting that seat, is there? In Sigurd's absence, who has better claim to oversee these disputes? You might leave them to work it out for themselves, but that would mean letting go, would it not? I don't like that guy. Again. Tell me all that has happened. I will start. I have been falsely accused by this Saxon Philistine. A Philly what? Are you mocking me? Silence, please. I'll hear both of your complaints and render a decision, awarding compensation if needed. Understood? All right, Rowan. Rowan, tell me your version of these events. Huh. As you are aware, Holger and I are neighbors. Near enough that I often catch him at my stables, stealing my tools. Borrowing. Holger, let him speak. Stealing, borrowing. My point being, I have always allowed him to use whatever he pleased. I greatly admire your Norse generosity and had hoped to match it. But this morning, Holger stretched the limits of my grace. Entering my stables for their feed, I found my most beautiful, gentle mare stripped of her tail. Bereft, not a strand in sight. I am ashamed to say my natural suspicion drew me to Holger, and how right I was. But when I peered across the lane, there he was, gripping a horsetail brush slathered with indigo, dragging it across a sheet of painting, Rowan. I was painting. You make it sound so crude. You see? What? Such willful arrogance. It will take ages for Ilgafu's tail to reach its former length. I demand compensation. I understand. Thank you, Rowan. All right. Holger, let me hear your sight. Eivor, you have known me as a skald for years. You have seen how my poems bring life and joy and wisdom to our people. And you know that my work requires a certain, let us say, freedom to make use of rare resources to compose my verses. Often, when lacking the proper tools, I have made use of novel items. Alvis's walking stick, Tovi's inks, all were given gladly. You cut off my horse's tail to make a brush, you bleed- Rowan? As I was saying, this morning in the throes of poetic reverie, I realized that my latest piece required delicate brushwork. I could have used a frayed stick, some cloth, my hands, but no. I needed something gentler, softer. To make a perfect brush, I needed the fine hairs of a well-raised horse. And so I availed myself of a local resource. You clipped Alfgafu's tail to the rump without asking. It was early. I did not wish to wake you. Thank you, Holger. I believe I understand your position. I believe yeah. I have heard enough. If you will... My horse looks like a fool, Eivor. 
No handsomer than a donkey now. You must <laughs> do something. Do not conflate hair with beauty, Rowan. She remains radiant. <laughs> Elgifer's hair will grow back in no time. Quiet, both of you. Now listen. Well, Hawkins, I'm going with Rowan. Rowan is clearly in the right. You sheared the tail from his horse without gaining permission. I borrowed the tail. Borrowed. Does the reality of regrowth not make this a victimless crime? It is a two-victim crime, Holker. Though they are unharmed, you took without asking, and that will not do. As the horse's value has diminished significantly, you will pay Rowan its market price. There you but go. The horse was not for sale. Rowan, admit it. My decision is final, Holker. Pay what you owe and meet tomorrow as friends. And if I do, may I keep the horse? Pay the man and be done with it. Rowan, does this satisfy you? It does. Thank you, Eivor. Good. Then by Tyr's blessing, let this matter rest. We are done here. Return to your homes in peace. What if I had gone with the other option? What could she have possibly said for the Would other option? To pay you with a vibrant painting? After all, in some ways you helped in its creation. Absolutely not. Silver is the only color I wish to see from you. Alright. Alright, let's see what you got. Oh, hello, Eivor. Good day. That Holger, he is quite a character. I almost envy him. To see the world through such a muddy glass and live with such petty concerns. He has no care in the world. Let's not walk too far with that idea. I need you right where you are. East Anglia is right. with us. Their King Oswald has pledged his loyalty to us. Eivor Kingmaker, we shall call you soon. <laughs> All right. Some interesting news. King Cheolvulva sent Cheolbert to Shropshire. He hopes to install him as Elderman there. Good for Cheolbert. He should do well considering all he has learned from you. I gave him only a taste of my knowledge. The rest he will need to figure for himself. One more thing. Okay. I do not know if you heard, but Svend passed away a short time ago. The poor What's man slipped away in his bed. I had not heard, no. And how is Tovi? She must be gutted. It has been rough on her. She spends quite a lot of time at his burial mound. Speak with her, if you have the time. Okay. Alright, I guess we will do that. And then we'll come back and figure out where we're going next. But that is where we're going to wrap it up for this episode. Uh, I guess we're going to go speak to Tove. And make sure she is doing alright. And then we'll come back and we'll select a new place to get to. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Dima, signing off.